I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? It is a great day, and I'm so very excited to be here today. We have, we have money. Um, well, blockchain, money, crypto, all of that good stuff. You know, I absolutely love when we can make money and it not be money, but it be money. If you understand what I'm talking about, investors, you know what I'm talking about, and people who know about blockchain. And we're going to learn about that today. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. I want to welcome you back to Dream Chasers Radio. And I'm just so, so very excited because I have Mr. Bernard here today. And he's going to be talking about blockchain and all that stuff. But before he does, and welcome to the show, by the way. Hi, Jaya. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, Mr. Bernard, before you go ahead and talk about blockchain and all that, I want to know, how did you get into this? Well, um, five, six years ago, I, well, I've always been chasing new technology. And when I first uh, learned and came, came, heard, came across blockchain technology, I thought there was definitely something I would jump, jump into and learn. And because we would be using it definitely in the future of our daily, daily lives. Awesome. You know, yes blockchain nobody ever thought that you know this would just kind of jump in there like it did i mean why did it do that well still today um blockchain is not used um to its full potential but 90 percent mm. out there is cryptocurrency or startup companies just using it for raising capital um, and that's uh, something that lattice labs my company trying to change and we want to teach and educate brands, retail brands, sporting clubs, uh, event companies, how to implement uh, blockchain into their daily operation. Mm -hmm. Let's go back a little bit because I don't know if anybody knows what is blockchain. I mean, all right, what is that? So blockchain is a decentralized and immutable digital ledger that records transactions across multiple computers um, and ma it makes it really highly secure and transparent to the public. I don't understand that. No, no. Layman's terms. Operational system that's encrypted um, and all its actions are uh, public for any everyone to see. That I understand. That is cool. OK, so everybody can see it. But how did it become how did it become money? How, how does that happen? Well, um, you can develop smart tokens or uh, smart contracts that have token that are consist of tokens. So a lot of startups to raise capital or to create a uh, native currency to an ecosystem, they create a supply of their own branded coin. And um, I'm I'm kind of against I'm against crypto cryptocurrencies, and my company do not we don't um, talk about it much in the office. Uh, cryptocurrencies is is um, the used by the other side of the world that. It's not really what blockchain is and what can achieve. I do believe that ecosystem should have a token, but not purchased on these speculative, speculative markets. Mm. Mm. We're going to talk about that in a second because, you know, so, but let's, let's go, let's go back into this. Okay. Blockchain is not really something that has been used to its full capacity. So people are thinking blockchain, they're thinking money, but what else can we use it for? Well, you can use it for, um, today we're trying to implement it into smart healthcare. Um, we're implementing into supply chain. So traceability from manufacturing to retail. Um, also, um, governments are now implementing it for credentials, uh, identification of, of their citizens. Um, this is very cool because everywhere you go, you keep, everyone asks you, can I see your ID? Um, they don't have the right to see your ID, but if you can show them something, a zero proof knowledge based certificate or badge digitally, um, that's being given because you are valid by a more superior party that's than an officer on the street, then mm. you should, that way you don't need to provide your data all the time. And that's the same, same goes on the web when you're connecting on web three. Wow. That is interesting. I mean, you know, that's probably going to be equated to, okay, so how much money am I worth? It's you not about money. Are. 
It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. they're gonna think about it. They're gonna be like, well, if they're doing that, then they're taking my money. People are like, okay, you know. But how can universities and different establishments really, really get into this? And how can they be, you know, benefited by using blockchain? Well, by teaching blockchain, universities equip uh, their students uh, with skills and knowledge relevant to emergency, uh, emerging industries such as fintech, supply management, cy- cybersecurity, um, and AI products. Mm. I'm trying to figure out, because me not understanding what blockchain is completely, because I've only been educated by cryptocurrency. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I know, I know, I know. Okay. But a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are like me where we haven't really been educated on, you know, what it is to be in the right perspective of blockchain and the correct way of using it. So, okay. A university, for example, would maybe benefit from teaching their students about blockchain, but what is that potential benefit? Well, um, universities uh, can offer specialized courses uh, or modules on blockchain technology covering all the topics from uh, smart contracts, consensus mechanisms. So they understand the framework, the basic fundamental uh, main points um, to then understand how to implement them into problems and solutions that companies or operations have today. Um, Mm. First, understand the schematics and then, um, then apply it to something that you're already it's not rocket science and once right. you understand the mechanism it's 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 very simple and very cool it sounds like something that businesses like small businesses and people like myself need to really grab a hold of and understand no absolutely absolutely how would yeah. that work for us Te- well um teaching blockchain helps students understand technology's potential applications Uh, It fosters critical thinking, enhances problem-solving skills, and prepares them for future job opportunities in the technology sector. I love it. Which is a now. Yeah, yeah. I could see this being more than just money (laughs) or cryptocurrency. And I'm again, this is this is like okay. So a business without blockchain, what does that look like? Well, today. most companies don't have blockchain implemented. So um, we're improving the operation using blockchain. Um, you're, you're definitely in some, in, some, in some ways maybe not needing to have that physical, many physical employees as you did before. Um, but you, this traceability or relationship between their users and their, and their actual brand, what they, on the products they sell, the company sell, changes completely. Um, mm. the f- the users and the clients, they will sincerely enjoy the technology much way, much better. The relationship changes. But yeah, yeah, I th- I can see this going up to universities and it being something. But how can they, how how can they kind of implement this, and how can the students have that hand on uh, experience with blockchain in their studies? Um. Well, they well, students with blockchain knowledge can explore careers in the block as a blockchain developer or working for a Web three company or any of these tech big tech companies that are uh, known to everyone. Um, they can become consultants, analysts, project managers, wow. or even their entrepreneurs. Wow, this is great. So let's say a person that wants to change careers and they really want to get into this, you know, and they go to university and university doesn't know what they're talking about or they haven't really done this. How can the university itself, you know, implement this and start this curriculum? Well, that's there. They are they are doing now. They have focus groups within the educational system, creating uh, curriculums and courses. Uh, Yale, Harvard, MIT, mm. Florida University. Um, they all started uh, with great curriculums. Um, there's a lot of hands-on training also at universities in the tech space. Um, and then they have a lot of experts come come to speak and to talk. But um, at Lattice Lab, online as well, it helps. There's a lot out there online. And Lattice Labs, uh, we have an academy with uh, over 42 courses uh, where people can come, can buy and look and um, go. It's they're about four and a half hours, and they take you into a uh, whole journey. Uh, that is so cool. 
So Lattice Absolutely. Labs. Okay. So are you guys partnering with any of the universities to help them out? Yes, we work with in Canada, Waterloo University. Mm. Um, very cool tech company, tech university, um, in UK, London University, and also in, in the south of France, in Monaco, we work with the University of Monaco. Nice, nice. So what is that like? I mean, did they reach out to you? Did you reach out to them? Do you know? Um, well, other experts in the tech sector, but they do not cover blockchain, either mm. follower of us, or we are, have a good relationship with them. And they... Um, we we go into depth and we can explain it to the average person much better than others so um I and I, we, we really push to educate we really push to educate this we have all our eggs in this basket to block for blockchain to really be implemented in the right way instead of as it's looked at today yeah and i'm not going to say the word I'm not going to do it. But what I am going to say is that Lattice Labs actually does have that program that people can go in, you know, and, and actually be a student. Do you guys certify them at, afterwards? Is there like a job or do they get like accreditation? What 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 happens after they finish the program? Well, they, they can they take the courses, they get a certificate from our um, tech experts and from the company signed a digital one uh, and a physical one. To, so they can show their everyone that they've passed their course um, and the lessons. And then afterwards, they also get engaged with uh, either we're developing always for many companies. So they get on some hands on approach, working with our team and working on maybe a project to understand really um, how how to embrace or implement into a company the technology and there's just one more question that i really 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 wanted to ask you i mean there might be more but this is this is the one this is the one uh small businesses businesses that aren't implementing blockchain right now what is the benefit of them switching over or actually adapting blockchain into their daily uh routines and into their businesses well you can't um, just change overnight um, into blockchain. Um, it's a slowly phase. You need to first understand and have a case study on what your operation is today and then imp understand how to implement an ecosystem around your brand. We already have websites which are um, pretty, pretty much a 2D vector uh, ecosystem. But when we go into a virtual space full of utility where uh, your digital space has um, corresponds with tokenized products and services that you offer today, you're, you're keeping your users on the site or on your platform for a longer period of time. That's, that, that being they can, they'll be purchasing more products because they spend more time on that platform. They're engaged. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. And that's really, really gamifying that relationship, game and making it a gamification process for the operation. I like that. Keeping them there, that's like Walmart playing slow music. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, there is a there is a psychological aspect to everything. You know, when people want to do this or if they, they need help, do they call Lattice Labs? Um, well, we work in a sphere um, of a lot of corporate conglomerate, conglomerate networks. Um, we speak, we, we're, have, we're accessible to, uh, the, to, the, to the sphere, to the space and people uh, a lot of large companies want to, they, they know where to go to find um, the developers or people, the know-how and the experts in the space. Um, there's not many. Um, so um, we don't work with everyone, but we work with quite a lot of people and companies. Wow. Well, let me tell you something. You just said the key word. And I think then, I, and I hope that you guys are listening when he said there are not a lot of them. And Lattice Labs has a university where you can go and actually learn about uh, blockchain and all the things that, you know, you can be one of the first people in blockchain that can actually start implementing and maybe even be a pioneer. Literally speaking, this is a great career for you because it's not saturated yet. I would think, am I right? Am I right? Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. And doing it the right. And doing it the right way. Don't, don't go the other way. Don't do what I did. <laughs> don't do what I did, guys. Don't do what I did. Where can people find you? Um, you can check us out online at latticelabs.io. Um, we have a YouTube channel, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, and uh, latticelabs.academy, where you can find all our courses online, um, both audio, video, um, and get in touch with us. And 
uh, see us in Web3. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's not saturated yet. I think that this might be a good career change if you're looking for one. And if you're in the tech field, go ahead and go to Lattice Labs. Okay. I'll put the information in the description box below. So it'll be easy for you guys to go ahead and get that for yourselves. And uh, then you can probably can teach me a little thing or two. Okay. I thank you guys so much again. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. I do to be different. I do to be different. I do to be different.